out here getting smoothies and we are talking about the Nomadic Peter McKinnon Everyday Backpack. Okay, so today I want to talk about how I use this bag and why I like it. It's not really a review video or uh, talking about what's inside or anything like that because there's a lot of videos about that. I've had it for about three months, so I want to talk about how I've used it at weddings, what I do with it, why I like it so much. I bought this bag initially because like most people, the other bag was super huge really heavy on your back and meant for travel, which it was marketed as, but people wanted the bag, probably not realizing that it's super heavy. This bag is lighter, much lighter, and it feels more like a backpack, so I can walk around town with it. I can mod it a little bit differently, so that it's actually could be more like a backpack. It's obviously made for cameras. I also like the look of the bag because it's understated and it doesn't scream camera bag. It looks really, really cool. Like the other bag, the bigger one, this is super durable and I like that I feel like I can just toss it on the shelf or toss it in my trunk. I don't have to feel like I need to be too light with it. Often if I'm busy shooting, I, if I have the bag on, I need to take it off and like put it on the ground or if I'm running gunning or at a wedding, I need to just take it off and toss it wherever I can. I can just wipe it down after if it gets dirty, I'm not worried about it. I also like that Kind of this black like pirate design thing that he does is like kind of lends to being able to scuff it a little and get it dirty i feel like that's okay which i like about it i like that it's really comfortable and the form factor is much smaller as a woman fits me better i still love the other bag and this doesn't really replace it because um, if i have a like if kayla and i go out to shoot a wedding together with a three camera setup, even just for photo, we can't fit everything in here. And I like to bring probably a little more than I need just in case I get into a situation where I, I feel like I'm gonna need something or I'm like, oh boy, I didn't realize I was gonna need this light or something like that. So in this bag, I can put two of my cameras, a microphone, two small lenses. Uh, I think I put a 7200 in here, maybe not. Some people have trouble fitting it in but I can put basically everything I need as one shooter for pretty much anything that I'm shooting. I've noticed a lot of the time when I have the big bag, especially for people that are photographers, they see the bag and they're like, holy crap, it's so big. They're like, wow. And it's just very noticeable. And this is understated. If I had this in my back, nobody would pay attention. And to have, you know, to be out on the street and have my gear I, I'd like to know that people aren't looking at me and noticing that I have this big bag full of stuff, which is nice because I didn't really travel with the bigger bag. So I'm walking around with it. Obviously there's something in there of importance and that kind of targets me, I feel like. So what's really comfortable about this bag is this handle. It's very like squishy, bouncy, almost like, it's not memory foam, it's like, um, it's like those little jelly mouse pads from the 90s. And then you've got all this padding here. I can put this on my back for hours and it doesn't hurt at all. I wish you could feel it because it's really comfy. And then it's got these huge thick pads on the back. It's way more comfy than any, any kind of backpack that I've ever even worn. It also stands up. It doesn't fall over. Oh look, it falls over. <laughs> it doesn't fall over at all, which is huge. In conclusion of my very uninformative video, I love this bag because I think it's cool. It's functional. It looks good. 
This bag basically encompasses everything that anybody wants or asks for in a camera bag. <laughs> Coincidentally, we um, decided to come downtown. I don't know what we were thinking. It's super loud. It's fine. So, uh, yeah. I also purchased the sling bag, which I think is really, really cool. I don't know that I will ever really use it for a camera. It has like so much space in it, it's not even funny. I put, I think I even put like two camera bodies and a lens in the sling. But right now I have my Red Bull and uh, my snacks in there. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's kind of why I wanted the sling. My snacks, like, like Maddie. That's it. Cut, cut, cut.